we could drive the pulling in off roofs and what have you and loading the engines and the boilers and everything and to, just to, to get ready to get moving. Grace is going to get moved to another premises in Fixburg and uh, get back into working order and get used again. Next we will continue in Fixburg. I'm Andy Self, I come from Elgin in the Cape. I'm a friend of the new owner of the, uh, the equipment that's been bought here, the milling equipment and the engine, which was standing exactly where I'm standing now. The engine was a Crosley, it is a Crosley from 1907. Uh, it burned uh, producer gas, which is made from uh, anthracite. So instead of burning into carbon dioxide and water, it makes carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Carbon monoxide is highly poisonous and hydrogen is highly explosive. Uh, so it is very dangerous to work with. The engine was otherwise just like a petrol engine. Big 14-inch uh, bore, uh, single cylinder open crank engine from Crossleys in Manchester. The um, engine drove a, uh, a belt uh, through this space on my right hand side uh, and then it drove uh, the mill machinery in the uh, room next door, in the main building. Right, we're now on the milling floor. Uh, these, these are roller mills. There are four of them all together, or there's a scourer at the end. What makes it very interesting is that they are from four different makes, three, three from England and one from America. The, the mill behind me uh, comes from Henry Simon. Uh, the one behind that, ERNF Turner, that's in Ipswich. The firm still exists. We've been in contact with them. The mill behind it is from T Thomas Robinson in Rochdale in, in, uh, Manchester, uh, in Lancashire. And the one at the end, the Scara, is from S. Howes in New York State. And we've been in contact with them as well. Uh, they are very keen to know that their machine from probably 1880 is working again. What well, characteristic about the whole business was the, uh, they never had a truck to deliver any of their goods. They had a, a cart and what I said, what kind of horses they had. And these horses used to trot around Grahamstown delivering. So it was quite unique for Grahamstown. Oh, listen, uh, it's, it's sad to see the end of it, but at the same time you cannot stop progress. And there's obviously no need for it any longer. And I think it's gone into good hands, that's the main thing. The, the fellow who has bought it, he has some big ideas. And obviously they know this area is going to be redeveloped by the new owners. So um, you, you can't stop progress.